Hello, it's Richard, and I wanted to talk about something that was kind of uh, very important. Um, I just mostly make these videos because I just want, I don't really care about views, it's just to publish my ideas. So if you watch this video, you know, it's probably not too many views, but I just want to publish my ideas, and just, that's what I'm doing, just publishing and, and having some sort of a um, protection of my ideas and everything. And um, I want to talk about beauty again. And um, what, what what is beauty, you know? To me, beauty is like is like a concept. To me, it's a concept. It's a trend. At least for our era. Our era, beauty is nothing more than, uh, than like the flavor of the year, flavor of the month type of thing. You know, um, back before... Um, skin mutation started to take place and and people started to change and shift and and culture started to become developed and and we started to become different races or different na nationalities um we um beauty was one singular perception and, and it was a constant and those were with uh our ancestors and we all know if you understand the past the ancestors, you know, the real ancestors, um, there there was one on, only perception, only one skin tone. Let me put it that way. There was only one skin tone and there was only one perception. And that trends was not so rampant. And the beauty was not so rampant. You know, and that I think the reason why um, beauty shifts and changes is because we're unhealthy. Spiritually, mentally, physically, and emotionally. Wanting new things is a sense of unhealthiness, you know, because like, just like I said with beauty, um, in the other video, um, we look at water. Do we complain about water? Do we say, oh, well, I you know, I, I wish water would change. I wish, how, how come water is always clear? Why is water, you know, how come water doesn't turn purple or something, you know? Like, we don't question water. Why? Because it gives us sustenance. It's sustenance. It sustains us. It balances us. It, it, it gives us so much. You can do so much with it. You don't complain about it. So we don't ask it to change. Because it gives us what we need. And we need something in life as a human race that sustains us like water that we don't ever question. A certain um, way of thinking. You know, a, a different way of translating, a way of thinking, like making a relation between a way of thinking to water. A way of social change, a way of social thought that is that is that is connected to the concept of what I'm talking about of water where we do not want to change it because we're healthy mentally and physically. You know, if you understand what I'm talking about, it's not that complicated. Society wants new things because we're unhealthy, we're unhappy. You know, we keep we you know, you don't question dirt, you don't question the air, you don't question uh, what you eat, you know, you, you eat so you can be sustained. You know, uh, the animals in the wild, you know, they're smart and they're always looking for new things and stuff like that, but, 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 but they accept their environment and they accept what they have. But human beings, we keep on pushing because, you know, we're unhealthy. We're not, we're unhealthy not only because our society's made us unhealthy, but because we left our ancestral beginnings that made us content, you know, in some way. But in, in a way, why did we leave our environment and then become changed to become different culture, cultural nationalities? Why did we leave our comfort zone? You know, that's another question altogether. But what I want to talk about is beauty. You know, I'm trailing off because I'm talking about something that's more dense. You know, beauty is nothing more than a concept, and, it, and it's a concept of the era. And and um, I wanted to talk about, now this connects to movies and music. You know, I was talking about the film to end all films, my concept for f ending filmmaking, um, ending music. You know, you, I talk about the end of movies and music and books, and I, I, I wrote uh, a question in Yahoo Answers about, how we can keep on going if the ideas just keep on being recycled and if we don't progress as a human race and you know like it really goes deeper than that it's not just the fact that we make crappy movies and 
and uh, the movies are don't are not progressive and, and they don't really feed us emotionally or mentally but it, it goes deeper than that because it really affects us it really reflects our comforts you know um it really reflects who we are it, it really reflects us you know and um i really believe that that um the human race that movies and music need to end because because we're it, it's a state we we need to recycle we need to reinvent ourselves like here's one example here's one example beauty right now in this era and the past 50 years we've seen uh females as being the ultimate dynamic the dominance in terms of beauty we sell them like a product we 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 put them in magazines we put them in video games we put them we 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 put them in a in the seductive uh, positions and and uh, scandalous clothing and a lot of cleavage and we 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 just saturate everything that we do in this era in some sort of form of fashion and everything that we do with female image with nuances maybe not the female image directly but nuances and kind of little spackle of things here and there that are feminine you know and it really f affects the psychology of people you know um and and the thing is though is that uh the reason why things have to come to an end why does movies and music have to come to an end because it affects it affects it affects the quality of, of the entertainment that we perceive. It affects us as people. Entertainment is what perpetuates us every day. It helps us get through the day. And one thing that makes me very angry is that why is that is that why are we gonna because what's what's happening is that in the future what's gonna happen is that just to get straight to the point, what's gonna happen is that homosexuality is gonna get more accepted. The male image is going to get more accepted. Just like the female image is now, perhaps we're going to saturate the male image in a lot of things. You know, we're going to try to sell it like the female image now. We're going to try to sell the male image. We're going to try, try to sell it and try to package it and try to saturate everything and have little speckles of it and everything and video games and all that crap. Why? And people say, oh, well, that's good. No, it's not good because what we're doing is we're going around circles. We're just replacing one thing with another, but we're not moving anywhere. We're not progressing. We're not. We're we're, we're not going anywhere. We're we're replacing one bad thing with another. If you understand, the female image is you know like right now we're using the female image as a product and we're um exploiting the female image disrespectfully against fe females and then we're gonna replace it with males and exploit them. You know, and then I know that males have a lot of self-strength and they have a lot of self-righteousness and they can handle themselves, but we're replacing one thing with another and we're not progressing. At the same time, when that era comes that we use male image as a sexual product, we're still going to be using, we're still going to be making movies and music. Everything's going to be going around circles. There's not going to be no progression. You see what I'm talking about? That's why movies and music had to be brought to an end because we're constantly recycling we're not progressing we're not evolving we're not being innovative it's a whole new era with the old concepts a new era with old concepts a new era with old structures old psychological structures you know no no social no social um evolution no social no social um, improvement. When we replace males with fe when we, we replace uh, females with males, we're still gonna make be making movies, and those movies are gonna be involved in that negative in negative um, change. That's why movies and music need to be brought to an end because they're just helping to chug along this evolution and this progression of 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 this endless neurotic. Um, mindless type of product placement. Movies and music are not going to be helping the social social concept. They're not going to have to progress nothing. 
you know, they're, they're just going to be part of the problem. They're going to be part of the landscape of the, of the problem of the future that lies ahead of us. The movies and music is going to be nothing more than the part of the, the problem. They're going to be part. They're they're going to be part of the landscapes, of the problem of the future that lie ahead of us. So they're going to be part of the portrait, part of the painting, part of the structure. They may not be directly involved with a lot of the bad things that happen, but they're still there, and they're still reflecting a lot of the things that are within the future waiting for us. We cannot be living in this life where we keep on circulating the same thing. You know, we, we're taking baby steps, not forward. We're, we're, we're not even going backward. We're just baby stepping in place. We're not even going anywhere. We're just, we're just, we're, we're just uh, trying to shout and change ideas just by presenting them in different ways. You know, that's why we can't. That's why movies and music have to end because they're not doing anything to progress. There's going to be maybe one or two movies every few years in the future that will be blips on the on the on the uh on the screen that'll be innovative and really intuitive and help people socially and whatever but as a whole movies and music are not going to be there to totally totally help fix the problem they're going to be a part of the landscape of the problem that lie ahead of us in the future part of the portrait they may not be directly involved but they're going to be involved in the portrait the, the complete image of the problem of the future problem that lies ahead of us, like I said. <clears throat> and they're going to be in the background, movies and, and music, while in the foreground there's going to be the male image being being exploited and being disrespected for product placement. And we're not being, we're not going to be progressing. And I believe that it's going to be kind of a, you know, kind of weak. You know, it's not going to be as strong and as uh, founded as the female image because um, movies of the past, movies and music in the past, just to make an example, they utilize the female image as the weak woman. You know, they put them in perfect plots and stories. They put them in perfect songs. That's one other thing. How the hell are we going to reinvent music and have two males singing to each other and try to make a love song of two males singing to each other? How is that going to work? You know, it, it can work. It can be done, and it will, but it's not going to beat uh, any duets of the past. You know, I can't name any duets like uh um like uh, Kenny Rogers and uh you know like uh Michael Jackson and you know the other you know like just so many duets of the eighties and nineties that's that will, will continue to be more dynamic than the gay duets of the future. I guarantee you that. Because they're more original and there was not so much thought and deliberate Cr cr deliberate um, trying to recreate because everything is forced it's not subtle everything is pushed too quickly without slow process and back then things were pushed with slow process and that's why music and in the movies how are they going to make two gay guys you know um, fall, you know like you know I'm not trying to diss them but really the past is always going to be the foundation like I always say the past will always perpetuate the future People will always look to the past in order to create a foundation of what they're going to create for the future. And this means homosexual movies and homosexual homosexuals are kind of trying to mimic the heterosexual uh, um, storylines of movies and the heterosexual music. But it's not going to be as dynamic or as strong. Not because they're heterosexuals, but because the stories that they were involved in were just better. And they hit harder. And the music hit harder. You know, that's the truth. It was actual talent and actual continuity and actual quality that was actually there. It's not it's not discrimination. It's quality. People have to separate when people diss them. It's quality versus uh, wanting to copycats. And that's the thing is that why can we, you know, things are not going to get better. Music and movies are not going to do shit to help anything. We should not replace one bad thing with another. With sexuality in terms of the male, the female image being replaced with the male image. Which I think it won't be that bad, but at the same time it's going to be watered down. And just the whole existence of the future is going to be kind of watered down. Even with high technology, things are going to still be watered down. Um, but, I, um, you know, that, that that's the thing, you know, is that we need to progress. Beauty is nothing more than a concept of our era. The reason why beauty is a concept is because we're unhealthy mentally, physically, and spiritually. And because we're not... 
we are not um, part of the original creation, the original race. We're not part of that no more. We, 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 have, we, we want new things, and beauty is a concept because we, there's, there's too much nationalities and too much broken races, too much different perceptions. Instead of all coming as one, seeing one perception, you know, which is the true perception. Instead of having different angles of views, which people say that it's good, but it actually is not. You know, I'm not saying that it, it you know, um, maybe in some way in the future I could be proved wrong. But beauty needs, the concept of beauty needs to be stopped and stopped, it needs to be brought up as a concept, you know. Beauty needs to stop being a concept and start, we need to start looking at beauty in terms of truth. What is truth? No more trends. No more flavor of the years. No more flavor of the month. Let's find the truth. What is true beauty? What is it? You know? Um, movies and music and everything else needs to end. Books and everything. They're just going to be a part of the landscape of the problem. They're going to be part of the problem of the landscape that lie ahead of us. They're not going to be directly involved with it, but they're still going to be part of that thing that they're not going to be... There's like pieces of shit just laying there in a photograph that you took with your dad in front of your dog's house. Is this going to be a piece of shit? But they're, they're, they're not involved with anything, but they're there. You know, as a society, we need to reinvent everything. The film to end all films, my virtual movie, that's the movie that's going to put movies to end. It's going to have all the characters of, of all the superheroes... Is gonna fight this one huge universe, uh, Nathologian, protector, evil guy. And it's gonna have Batman, Ghostbusters, it's gonna have, uh, Transformers, it's gonna have, uh, um, every Snoopy, everything. And they're all gonna battle this one guy. And the trailers are gonna have, uh, um, Save the Best for Last from Vanessa Williams. Save the Best for Last from Vanessa Williams. They're the trailers are gonna have that song in it. And, you know, it's going to be the, the end. We're going to say the best for last. The movie is the best. We say the best for last, which is the film to end all films. You know, this has to be the end. It's, it's going to be an epic virtual movie. You're going to be in the movie, feeling the air, the sun. You're, you're going to be in the world. Not just a projection on the wall, which is movies are now. We're going to be in the movie. Virtual movie. Not a projection on the damn wall that we, that we have now in theaters. Not with 3D glasses. You're, you're going to be in the movie. And it's going to be the final movie. There's not going to be no other movies after this. That's why things have to end because we're not progressing. We're not thinking. We're, we're chugging along problems. At the same time, we're trying to adapt our music and our tastes to those problems. We're not thinking as a race. We're not, we're not in, in, uh, evolving appropriately. We're not thinking correctly. You know? We're not in the 80s or 90s. We can't mimic the 20th century progression. We're in the 21st century. Technology is going all, all over the place, but we're the ones that are still structured. Think twice and change. This is Rich Sisfidus. Thank you very much.